All right, how you guys doing? This is Moxtank Boys. Uh, we're getting a lot of questions about the rear mount radiator setups uh, in our cars and how they work. A um, lot of questions about it. So I decided to make a video for you guys and show you how simple it is. Um, they're really effective on the street, uh, which all of our cars are street driven. Uh, they usually, this car runs at about 180 to 185 did he to summer, um, sitting in traffic, uh, no issues at all. So the basic setup, that's an all-star performance radiator uh, with a junkyard fan, like 30 bucks, you know, out of a Taurus, Thunderbird, Mark 8, whatever you want to find. It works really well. All right, so for the water pump, that is a Mazir 55 gallon uh, remote water pump. It works excellent, flows a lot of water for us. Um, you can see the inlet on the pump right there. It attaches to the exit right there on that uh, radiator. Um, what I would do, or we've we've just run uh, regular radiator hose, no problem. I think this year we're going to do a A in line just to make it a little nice, little neater. Um, you could do that too. They sell A in adapters for that, and then you can just weld your A in bung on there. So that's where your water, that's where you get your water from that goes to your pump and then those are two dash 12 lines that are running to the front compartment engine compartment so I just have them running alongside the, the frame rails you really can't see too well um, another thing that we did on another car we have is we've cut these lines about like right here and then we um, put fittings on them and then we've done uh, aluminum tubes which is kind of a little, it's a little cheaper and I like it a little better. I think we're going to start doing it like that now and we'll run aluminum tube all the way up to here and then we'll get our fittings and go up with the lines into the engine bay. How you, another big question we get is how do we fill our radiators? So with your rear mount radiator, you're going to have a remote fill which is an expansion tank. So this is a dash 12 fitting that we have welded on here. Um, see that hole right there? We have an uh, expansion tank up in the trunk that we fill right, that so with. So here's just a basic expansion tank that uh, we welded up. Um, see your dash 12 fitting? Your dash 12 fitting right there. That's where the water enters. It goes down, hits the radiator. So, you guys wonder about overflows and whatnot. This, this uh, fitting right here, this goes to your overflow on the radiator. So, uh, where you'd have your catch can, that catch can line goes up to here on your expansion tank. So, this now is your catch can line for your, um, your radiator. And this will just go to your overflow can. Um, for your radiator. It works really well. No issues with that. That's all that right there. Alright, this is where the DAS-12 uh, feed lines enter the engine compartment from the side there. Um, it's real simple. Uh, this kit right here, this is a Moroso uh, remote water pump kit. Um, you can get them out of jigs or get them out of Summit. They have DAS-12 fittings on there. So, Lines go like that, like that, to the lowers, and then once that goes into the uh, the motor, it comes back out the uppers, and you'll take two uh, dash 12s over to this remote thermostat over here. This is also a remote thermostat for a Moroso, and uh, we have a 160 thermostat in there, and that thermostat has like uh, two or three uh, pinholes in it. Uh, for water to flow through and then once the thermostat comes open um, everything else flows through. Um, on the back side of this we have a uh, DAS 16 fitting so our return is just one single DASH 16 line that runs down all the way uh, back just like the uh, the two dash 12 feed lines. Um, it's worked really good for us. 
and we haven't had any issues with it. It runs flawless. All right, here's the Dash 16 A in line all the way to the back. It comes from that remote thermostat that I showed you from Moroso. All it does is it goes in right here. So what we did is uh, that right on the All Star Performance right here, they have a fitting arm there, and you could screw in a Dash 16 like we did. Or if you don't have uh, this all-star radiator, it doesn't matter. You can just weld a Dash 16 fitting to your radiator, kind of like that set up right there. All in all, uh, the rear mount radiators, they work really well, uh, cool really well. Um, your fan, so the fan, what you're doing with your fan is you want your fan sucking. You don't want it pushing up. It's sucking the air down. Uh, every now and then, like if you're going to be doing some street driving, uh, you got to reach back on the top side of the uh, radiator to scrape some leaves or blow some leaves out with your air hose, uh, and you should be good to go. Uh, no issues. All right, thanks for watching. Any more questions, uh, just put it in the comments or uh, hit me up on Facebook. Uh, Facebook page is Moxing Boys Racing, and just hit me up.